Hey, good morning, John. Welcome. It's great to see you here. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Vicki. Glad you are well. Yes, good to be home, Bob. Good to be home. Good to see you. Good morning, Linda. I know, is it not fantastic? Good morning, Vicki. Uh, it feels fantastic. It feels like uh, C.S. Lewis talks about uh, liturgy and he talks about the way we come to worship. Uh, and he says, uh, good morning, Linda. Yes, well, oh, it feels good. And he, he says that, uh, that liturgy should come to fit like an old shoe. And I love that. Like, we should come into worship and we should be embraced the way uh, an old shoe should come to embrace us. So, uh, but to, it, to come in this morning and to be here, uh, to be in this glorious and beautiful space and to, to, uh, to link to uh, this wonderful community, uh, that uh, it is a great, it is a gift. Yes, I know this is, uh, it is an echoey space without anyone in it. So we're, we'll endeavor to persevere. Good morning, Donna. Oh. Yes, we are. It is a joy to be, uh, to be in our space once again. Good morning, Linda. Great that you are here. Good to see you. I look well rested and happy. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. I'm glad that's happening. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's true, but uh, it's great. Good morning, Shelby. Yes. Like, that's right. Like many of us, I, you know, we've ended our time of working from home and we're, uh, we're back in harness. Good morning, Yvette. Hope you are well. Great. You have a bigger smile. Yes, well, it is good. It is too good to be in the right place, for sure. Good morning, Gail. I hope you're well. Hope you are well. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It is a joy to gather with you and to continue on this way. Uh, it is great. Hey, good morning, Michelle. Great, good to see you. Well, it good morning. Good morning, Fanny Faye Davis. I know. I can. I am ready to get rid of this echo and. That uh, that uh, we might be able to to uh, be in community here for sure. Glad you're yes, I know, right? This is fantastic. It is so good to be here. So good to be here. Good morning, Cecile. Hope you're well. Glad that you glad you're with us this morning. Hope things are doing well for you. Are. It is a joy. So welcome. Today is Monday. It is Monday, uh, the 18th day of May. That uh, And uh, right now, the governor is doing a news conference that is going to uh, change some of the guidance around how uh, how uh, where where people work and how we how they gather and and that sort of thing. So we are anticipating what what he has to say for us, uh, um, and so we are. But we are gathered here to continue on to, uh, this time uh, apart uh, that we might continue to gather, even though we may not be together. Uh, good morning, Irene. So glad you're here. So glad you're here. That so welcome. Welcome in this in this journey. Hey, Doris. Good morning. So uh, one thing that uh, that uh, one thing that is true that when you're a pastor that happens you uh, you have this um, you know you you are often 
um, you know, with people or involved with their community and, and at pivotal times in life, beginning of life, end of life, all of these, and, and some of the high points in between. And, and uh, just this last weekend, um, we have the, uh, you know, we had the, the, uh, the sadness of one of our saints here uh, passing into the next life. On Saturday, uh, uh, Joan Twaddle, who has been uh, um, uh, a, a member of this congregation since 1945, uh, passed into the next life. Uh, she was 92 years old. Um, and, um, you know, we, uh, she was at Charlton Hospital so that, that no, no one was able to be with her, but, but, but we continue to hold her in prayer all weekend and that we, uh, that she was gathered with saints. But, but, and, and as is one of the things that is often asked of pastors in these times is that we are, our job to, uh, to go out and, um, and to kind of let folks know. So, you know, I've talked with a few people and, and Sandra Wood has been, who's been so close and journey friend with her and, and to, to let folks know that, uh, uh, that, that Joan had joined the saints and that, uh, that, and then to put an email out to the wider community. And that's sometimes a hard thing. Good morning, Audrey. Good morning, Bonnie. And, that, and that's sometimes a hard thing, but I, I found it over time in, in my ministry to be actually a rich task. And I know it, it's a hard task because obviously we do not want to tell, you know, no one wants to, to bring the, be the bearer of sadness. But often what happens is when, when we extend uh, um, these days, when we extend these, uh, these, this news, um, I will get uh, feedback and I'll get uh, um, messages back from people that had journeyed with these saints uh, their whole life. And uh, this was no different, um, as I let folks know this weekend about Joan's passing, that, uh, that uh, um, you know, in her 92 years and in her 45 to, what's that, 75 years of membership in, uh, in, at First Congregational Church in Fall River, that in those years she had, you know, and, and if you knew Joan, she was a force of nature. She's a terrific lady. And that, uh, and that in that she, uh, she had the, um, uh, she had this, this, uh, uh, way of, of she was a headmistress in at uh, at uh, many uh, um, uh, girls schools throughout her career and she had this this headmistress way about her no matter how and when you encountered her uh, it was really terrific uh, uh, soul to be a part of and to journey with but one of the things that that you get when you let folks know that as a pastor is that you get to hear those stories back uh, the stories of people journeying that had journeyed with her uh, uh, some of the remembrances, some of the connections that they'd had, some of the ways that they'd they'd served in ministry together, and and you get a sense of the gifts of people and the and the joy and the impact that they had made on the on the world, uh, and so and so it it is so as as heavy a task as it is, it is also a rich and a beautiful task, um, because this week I got the same thing as I got to hear some really beautiful stories uh, in my email inbox about about Joan and about her her life in the church and about her her time and and the ways that she had touched people and and uh, and and uh, and um, so I want to read you this piece from Ephesians so so. Uh, Paul is writing this letter to the church in Ephesus, um, and he says this. He says, again, the Ephesus is this church that's just surrounded all, on all sides by, by uh, uh, all sorts of different uh, traditions. And he says this, I, therefore, the prisoner of, in the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called. With all humility and gentleness, with patience, with bearing with one another in love making every effort to maintain the unity of spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, just as you are called to be one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. But each of us was given grace according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore it is said, when he ascended on high, he made captivity itself a captive, and he gave gifts to his people. He gave gifts to his people. Friends, we are gifts to one another. We are gifts 
to one another. He gave gifts to his people. One of this great journey, the great task, and the great privilege of being the pastor of First Congregational Church of Fall River, and it is a privilege, was to be able to hear, just to hear the stories of, of a few people, of, a, of the saints, uh, of what it was uh, um, in Joan's journey, and to, and to hear the, the stories and the gifts of how we are gifts to one another. And also that we are born with our own gifts. Good morning, Sandra. Good morning, Sharon. Glad you are here. That we are able to give gifts. That every time I see a, a little digital face pop up there, it is a gift to me. That we are gifts to each other. And that we are gifts in, in, this, in, in our gathering. We are gifts in our journeying together. And we are uniquely made to share gifts. You know, and there's no one more that, that made me think more of that than, than Joan, that, that, that she was a unique lady, and she was and a powerhouse, and a wonder, and, a, and, and so much uh, fun for me to encounter uh, in, in, uh, in these, these, her, her last, uh, last few years in, uh, of life here, but, but also to, to be able to hear how she had touched others through the course of her life, and the offering of her gifts. Friends, you have gifts. There are things that you and only you can do right here and right now. And you are gifts. You are gifts to each other. That which was captive, that, that which was made captive is now captive itself. And he gave good gifts to his people. You are good gifts to each other. I look forward to the day when we might see one another face to face and experience the gift of what it is to be in each other's presence. It is a gift. Be a gift to each other. I know these days can be hard. I know these can, days can be where you simply want to pull, pull a, your head over the covers and not let anyone experience your gift. Or you can be snappy and snippy and the gift that you are may be a little, a little sandpapery to each other as you're close. If you're, if you're trying to, to, to homeschool kids, if you're trying to hold a family together, if you're trying to fight isolation, all of these, none of these things can look like gifts. But I want to tell you this morning, that as sure as this place is beautiful, as sure as this gathering is wondrous, you are a gift, and we are gifts to each other. We are not vectors of disease. We are children of God sitting at the feet of the Father. Well, friends, this is my hope for you today, that, uh, that maybe you will remember Joan in your travels today, and you'll hold her up and, and lift her up, uh, that, uh, that she has run her race, and she has given good service. And we, we are sad to see her join uh, the, 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 all the saints, but we rejoice uh, in her homecoming uh, with those who have gone before her. And in all of this, that we are reminded, we are reminded what a gift we are to each other and that we have within that and that we and that some of them we and only we have to share and to bring and to get to spread about the world so that all may know Christ's treasures and gifts all right friends Great to see all of you. I am so thank you for continuing this journey. Uh, we will be here through this week, uh, and I will have con further updates about what our way ahead for Sunday and other gatherings begin to look like in, in these days as, as new guidance comes out. So uh, please, uh, please hold one other dear. As I've been saying throughout this time, do, there's two things we can do. One, uh, be thankful for something today. Find something for which you are grateful. The second thing is reach out to somebody and connect with them and, uh, and, and check in on somebody. Uh, that if we can, if we can stay, hold thanks in our hearts and, and reach beyond our own walls to care, for, to care for somebody, we can sit at the feet of the Father and know all the good gifts that he would give us. All right, friends. I've said all right, friends, three times now. I think it's time to go. Blessings of peace. I am happy to be here. Can you tell? It, yeah. So peace and grace to you all today. I'll see you tomorrow.